top 10 things about UNLV. Here we go. Popcorn was number 11. It just missed the list. I apologize, Candido. Number 10 thing about UNLV, it's Las Vegas. And maybe you're bored of Las Vegas, but maybe you can have like a good outing with your friends and walk around the strip and play the game I like to call Count the Bad Decisions. Why not? Count them! Number nine thing about UNLV, guys. Premiere. Did you guys like Premiere? DJ Michael Toast, is that his name? You guys got a free t-shirt at Premiere. No, you didn't? Oh, shit. I have no backup for that. Popcorn! Number nine is popcorn. <laughs> shit. Number eight is a list within a list, guys. I'm just gonna rattle off a few names of people that have gone here. If you like the name of the person, feel free to clap, cheer, snap. If you don't know who this person is, just yell out next or just swing the swing the name over to the side like it's a photo on an iPad. Just swing it over. So, for example, a former basketball player, Greg Anthony, went here. Greg Anthony. Okay. Very good. Uh, you know Prince Fielder. His dad, Cecil Fielder, went here. Yeah! He was very large as well. So. Hope I pronounce this right. Sug Knight went here. Yeah. Sug Knight went here. Okay, one white guy recognizes Sug Knight. Okay. Good. Who else? Who else? Who else? Basketball player, Larry Johnson went here. Grandmama. Back when you guys were negative four years old. DJ Kylie? DJ Kylie went here? Nothing. Swing it over. We swung the photo over. From ESPN, Kenny Maine went here. Swing it over, Kenny Maine. All right. Jimmy Kimmel, guys. Jimmy Kimmel went to swing it. You don't like Jimmy Kimmel. Are you more of a Conan O'Brien person? What's. No. David Letterman. Sean Marion went here, guys. The Matrix. When you guys have an entire mate, no one. Okay, fine. That was all of number eight, guys. We're now on number seven. Guy Fury. Who? Who else do you want on the list? Who? Guy Fury. He actually graduated. Guy Fury. Okay, Guy Fury. Okay, I think we got most for Greg Anthony. So, Greg Anthony, you won. Right. Number seven thing about UNLV: your baseball team. What? Okay. Your soccer team. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies Your football soccer. team. Yeah. Your basketball team. Yeah. Okay, we found the pulse. <laughs> Number six thing about UNLV is you guys have the most sketchiest characters that roam around campus. Yeah. For example, elect random guy for Facebook president guy on bike guy. And there's also in and out guy. Do we like in and out guy? No. No. In and out guy should be the wingman to Facebook president on a bike guy. That would be kind of cool. Give them some game. No? Okay, fine. Are there crazier people I don't know about that I should recognize? Is he here right now? Is in and out guy here? No. Drunken no. hobo guy. Who? Drunken hobo guy. Drunken homo guy. I feel we're just no, yelling out. Like, hobo. Really, really, really. Hobo. Oh, hobo. Drunken hobo Not guy. Not homo. That could be anybody. Like, which one? <laughs> I'm sure they all like live in the same house. <laughs> ten, ten they all live in the same alley. <laughs> Number five thing about UNLV. You guys survived the floods. <laughs> you did it. Because if you didn't survive the floods, the terrorists would have won, guys. But you've showed them. No, that was for number eight. We're on number five. Holy cow. Take a time machine, why don't you? <laughs> Number four thing. You were, you were just disagreeing with everything I was doing after that. You're like, no, sorry, Guitar Boy, I'm fed up with you. Start covering John Mayer like you said, Ron Mayer. Okay, no, we're not gonna. Number four thing about UNLV is if you run into anyone you don't like, you can get them drunk, make them a nursing major, you'll never see them again. <laughs> never. 
Like, where is he? I don't know, taking care of someone. He's taking care of drunken homo guy in the hospital. That's what he's doing. A oh, hobo guy, I apologize. I don't mean to make him gay all the time. Drunken hobo homo guy is... Who knew? I'm homeless and I like guys. Date me. All right. <laughs> That also works the other way, is if your major ever gets too hard, you can just switch to university studies. So, no, no one empty. Okay, we'll go with the nursing joke. Okay. Or if you really want a new class that you want to really change your experience, just sign up for Sex, Dance, and Entertainment 101. Nothing beats a good Sex, Dance, and Entertainment 101. Yes. It's good. Number three thing about UNLV is if you guys are ever constipated, just eat at the DC and you'll be totally fine after that. So, just, okay, we'll move on, fine. Number two thing about UNLV is if you guys can find a good parking space before, after 7.30, you know it's gonna be a good day. Do they ever write you guys tickets too? Do they write you yes. tickets for, for like what? Just being in the wrong, what, you got one today? Two? How many? You only made her like two weeks, right? That's crazy. I, you should try to set a record. Maybe they'll cancel each other out. Maybe no. The guy had a flooded car got a ticket. The guy had a flooded oh car. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> what an hypocrisy. More. Someone needs oh to give that guy a hug. God. Oh my god. Well, he's you dead ever, now. He's what? He's dead now. He's dead now. <laughs> he was so depressed over getting a ticket when his car he was flooded. Right there. That he drowned him? He jumped right there. Right. Uh, is this something I'm always supposed to talk about? Was this a real occurrence? No, no. You're just fucking with me? Okay, good. I don't know. What, I never know like what's, what's not to mention during a show. Okay. Like, don't talk about trees because this guy ate a tree and died. Like, okay, fine. Whatever. New All right. Well, if you ever catch them writing you a ticket, girl that has two tickets already or guy that had his car flooded and got a ticket, if you catch him in the act, just here's what you do. Break out a piece of paper. Just write them a ticket back. <laughs> write them back. Write them back a more expensive ticket. Like you're writing me a $30 ticket? Fuck that. Here's an $80 ticket. I just made a profit, bitch. Yes. <laughs> you're double parked writing me my ticket. Irony. <laughs> <laughs> And the number one thing about UNLV, you're not UNR. Hey!